Diary of Dark One's Son is a look into the thoughts, opinions, and experiences of a young black man who is wrestling with the tough task of trying to make something out of himself in a very racist and hateful environment. It covers in detail the thoughts of a man as he observes and eventually learns how to cope and deal with the world around him. It is a story of a man who, while beset with many obstacles, learns how to overcome them in order to accomplish his goals and aspirations. This book is not for the faint of heart, and the opinions that are shared in this book can be deemed very offensive to some readers. If you think that you will be offended by the opinion shared in this book, the answer is simple. This is not the book for you. This book is merely the opinions of one man, and it should be taken as such. However, if you really wish to gain insight into the thoughts of a young black male in today's society, then look no further. Read this book, excerpt from the book, from the chapter, Am I Visible or What? One day when I was walking home from school, I came across this other brother who was walking my way. In his eyes, I could see the sadness, the same sadness that was in mine. I knew exactly what was going through his mind too. He was feeling like an absolute nobody. How did I know, you ask? Because I was feeling the same way at the moment right when I walked past him. Have you ever felt, if you are a black man reading this, that you were invisible to the world? Not because you want to be, but because people refuse to acknowledge your presence. Read more when you purchase this book. This book can be purchased from lulu.com. Family. My name is Vicki Dillon, and I'm pleased to be a contributor here on African Diaspora News Channel. I'm your sister with the curly braids. Please make sure you give us a big thumbs up and share, share, share this broadcast, uh, letting everybody know that African Diaspora News Channel has a war briefing going on as we speak. Dear family, we have another interesting story. In the wake of your Democratic controlled White House, your Democratic controlled Senate, your Democrat control House of Representatives who used black people, pimped black people, tricked black people into voting for one of the greatest, one of the greatest modern white supremacist races in history. Tricked you all into voting for him has not done anything for you, has given protections, legal protections to LBGTQ, Asians, and everybody else but black folk, was so hostile before he became president when we asked that he give executive orders to assist us in case Congress didn't do the right thing. He started to yell and refused. And that, during that Zoom meeting a few months ago at the end of last year, is when he said that America is doomed because of black people and because white folks numbers in America are dwindling. That's a paraphrase, but that's what the essence of exactly what he was saying. Y'all voted for him. And in a year's time, caused black folks to push the slogan, stop Asian hate. Now let's be clear, black folks, we don't believe in anybody being attacked or terrorized, right? We've been terrorized for 500 years and we can't even get a George Floyd Act. The Congress can't even pass anti-lynching legislation. But in one year's time, Asian in America got legal protections of $50 million. Nobody accosted them to vote. Nobody badgered them to vote. Nobody cussed them out if they made demands for their votes. Nobody put pressure on any other group like they do us. And you get nothing. In the wake of all of this, VF, prominent, notable Silicon Valley investor, capital venture, venturist, she's an investor, Asian lady, Miss Veronica Wu. She, family, right now I'm reading to you from Yahoo Finance, Yahoo Finance. She just stepped down 
after it was leaked, family, on Friday. And these are documents that were uh, leaked to uh, and obtained by Axios. She said concerning black protesters, sometimes they use BL BLM just as a catchphrase for our black protesters, but she said BLM movement. She says she don't believe in it. And she says, if anything, I think they are the true racists trying to stir up things to make this country going to socialism or even communism, potentially. That's her grammatical error. I said it the way she wrote it. Again, she says, if anything, I think they are the true racists trying to stir up things to make this country going to socialism or even communism, potentially. I read from the original Axios document earlier. They found that in the past, she was quoted by a associate as saying that the reason why there are not enough African-Americans in tech is because black folks, African-Americans are lazy. These are people that fled, in many cases, they fled their countries. They abandoned their homelands. They left their countries in shambles. And they come here to experience the American dream that we made possible based on our black nightmare for, the, for you guys to come over here and to be the honorary white supremacist. The devil is a lie. Baby, it's a new day. Black family, you better understand this real quick. We don't have no Mr. Miyagi's. Nobody is coming along to teach us defensive mechanisms to save our lives. They're all eating off of us just like roadkill. Roadkill is enjoyed by multiple animals and organisms. And there might be four or five different animals and organisms that eats off a dead carcass. But how many of you all know the insect that's eating off of that dead carcass doesn't care how many other organisms and animals preceded it? If they see anything left, they're going to eat at it. That's what these other groups are doing to us. We don't have any friends, black family. I want you all to take this as your clarion call to wake up and to unify and to abandon the normal political ways of engagement and to start to do for ourselves. My name is Vicki Dillard. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Vicki X Dillard. Follow me on Twitter at Vicki. Be sure to join my amazing weekly spiritual mastermind. If you feel like that you're stuck, if you feel like that there's more to life, if you feel like that you need the advantage, that you need to add super to your natural, clubvicki.com is for you. Join today for only $1 for the first few days. Clubvicki.com, the link should be below. Thank you so very much. 250 years of slavery, 100 years of Jim Crow, sharecropping, the Ku Klux Klan, lynchings, bombings, mass incarceration, the separation and destruction of the black family. All of that has had an effect on our mind. Our mind needs to be decolonized. We today are experiencing mental slavery, not physical slavery as once our ancestors had to endure. In my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, we take you through every step to start releasing the chains that's on your mind. He or she who controls the mind control the person. It is in a vested interest of the white supremacist system to keep your mind bogged down in a mental slavery, throwing entertainment, throwing drugs, throwing alcohol, anything they can at you to keep you bogged down. You got to free yourself from mental slavery. By purchasing our book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind today on Amazon. Make sure you share it with your family, share it with your friends. Everyone can benefit from decolonizing the mind because once your mind is decolonized, you will never be put to sleep again. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the African Diaspora News Channel app in the Google Play and Apple App Store.